Well, it was uh, Baba Vanga who predicted a last president. I simply told everyone what she said. I said Trump will be gone when Kali Yug is gone. But Trump's not gone. Even though Biden is president, don't forget, Trump still has deranged power six times its usual amount in his 10th house of power in the world. The Ravana configuration that didn't disappear. So with all this Ravana power, why would he suddenly become powerless just because he lost his job? Now he has more free time and 24-hour-a-day radio to rule over his hillbilly militias if he wants. But he's already laid all these eggs, two million of them in estimation, and they've hatched or will hatch, and they don't need him anymore. The FBI has warned us that these mobs are planning an insurrection in every state capital. Just keep watching the news. Here's a quote from Maharishi. The world has witnessed the rise and fall of monarchies the rise and fall of dictatorships, the rise and fall of feudalism, and now witness the fall of democracy. The river of time flows, the theme of evolution of life continues, sweeping away with it all that does not blossom into perfection. That includes democracy. Now with the fall of all man-made systems of administration, a new quality of administration is dawning based on the administration of nature's government. Perfect, eternal, and true for all time. That's enlightenment. Marshy warned us, this phase transition will bring more and some minor political problem. It will bring mass destruction and big earthquakes. A shaking, he called it. And he said, all kings shall fall. Democracy will fall, never to rise again. It is damned. A new kind of government is coming. Enlightenment for all. He knew what is about to happen to the world, as did Krishna, as did Charlie Lutz. And only one out of eight will survive what is coming. The exact date for Satyu can only be a little vague because it depends on world consciousness. But it will be within the 2021 to 2025 period. The exact time for its arrival is up to us. In other words, how many will listen to the message and experience their self as unbounded twice a day to speed up the coming of such you? And when it comes, you realize you could have created it at any time. You can be happy now. Meanwhile, 
there's an epidemic of insanity taking over. And I've got a whole video coming up um, devoted to why it's rising. And that'll come in about a week. That will be public on YouTube. I have one more plan for Patreon. My friends were normal. Now, ever since Trump began to run for office way back when, something dark inside of them exposed itself. Charlie Lutz said that in 1975, that everyone is sitting on the fence regarding the spiritual life. But as the dark age ends, they'll jump off that fence and be on one side or the other. That's what is happening. A deeper part of their soul is being revealed. What was it former director of the FBI, James Comey, said in that interview with Stephen Colbert I posted here. Oh, yeah. If you went up those stairs, you committed a crime, and you're going to be found. So, you should turn yourself in now. End of quote. It ain't over for the rioters, or for us. We have to deal with them. They think they got away with misdemeanor, trespass, and littering. But there's more coming. Multiple felonies. Prosecutors start out with laws broken, like trespassing. Then they slap something else on later. They have 30 days after that first arrest to slap on a felony charge. Then they have to act before a grand jury, which is a handful of prosecutors and a judge. Then the judge issues subpoenas. Then the FBI knocks on their doors and arrests them for insurrection against the United States. And all the other felonies they committed against the nation. There are many I just learned about I couldn't even have imagined. So if you think the Trump show was painful, Sit back and watch this movie. These militias are not going to like being herded up and taken to prison. All those rioters who think they got off scot-free are right now at home watching reruns of Dog the Bounty Hunter or whatever. And you're getting a knock on their door. Here's what they're in for. One of those serious crimes is conspiracy. Because many of these, many of all these uh, hillbillies communicated with each other and together made plans for crimes before the attack. That was their first mistake to give verbal body to their thoughts. Have you ever noticed that former friends of yours were not only crazy enough to support Trump or can learn these new conspiracy theories, but they were crazy enough to admit it to you that they support Trump? And conspiracy theories... You would think they would keep their new discovery to themselves, but no. 
They tell the whole world, as if they assume everyone thinks the way they think, or that they can convince you that Trump is the greatest president of all time, and that we have to overthrow the government. They tell the whole world about the crimes they're going to commit, and then go maskless in the riot on the Capitol, in front of video cameras, and get themselves on video telling journalists they came for a revolution to kill Nancy Pelosi and Mike Pence, and make a gallows on the Capitol lawn. By the way, they can also be charged for coordinating their attack during the attack. You don't even have to uh, complete the plans for the to commit a crime. Like just trying to hunt down Pence and Pelosi, who were there counting the electoral votes until 4 a.m., having to stay late because of the threats to their lives. The penalties for conspiring and failing are the same as for committing the crime. Biden is not going to heal anything. Jupiter, representing the United States, is in a very bad place for the next year. Rahu and Ketu are also wreaking havoc on the 6th and 12th houses of the United States. That's civil war and endings, 6th and 12th houses. All those who rioted are going to prison, and yet they keep making plans for another overthrow of the government. This is mass insanity mixed with mass stupidity. That's a bad combination. 